Good to see you, Kingsley. Good to see you, Ben. Do you think you can hide forever? No way. No one double crosses us. I'm ghost country. Where's your girlfriend who now runs the show? Hey, come on, Ben. Dad, what you guys want? What do you want? Huh? Money? Absolutely nothing. I, I know you guys want your money, okay? I'll just go upstairs and I get your monies down, okay? Twenty thousand dollars, right? Why don't you check the sticking on your silly world of demons in hell? Take, take it, take, take it easy, okay? Oh, 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 Let's go. Go away. Are you dead? Did you get in? There's money in the house. Let's grab it. It's ours. Come on, we have to get out of here now. No, no, no. Don't touch him. Okay? Let's you need a new fingerprint. I know. You know what? Go and get your bags and let's get out of here before the police come in. Please don't. Let's just. 
Take, take him to the hospital. No, you and they're investigating. What do you do? Come on, grab your things and let's get out of here now. Please. Look, there's no time for crying. Hurry up. Just... Can't sleep. Oh. What is this? a very safe hotel and then call the police and tell them of the mess in Kinsley's apartment. Why, why, why? Nancy, why is it that everybody that I love always end up dead? Why? Wait. What, what kind of fate is that? And eh? why does fate visit me all the time? Why, why is it only me that fate visits? It's okay, my dear, okay? It's okay. Let's just check into a safe hotel, okay? To the States, of course. Where else? So, Pete, do you realize my dad has got on me as a child, huh? Yeah, I know, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Go. So, I've got to fix my eyes here and put the damn business together. Baby, that wasn't the plan. I mean, we planned on making this visit a quickie, remember? Yeah, I know, but look at that. My dad kicked the bucket and, of course, I haven't got... No choice, can't you see? Come yeah, on. but I mean, shit happens. Uh huh, it does happen. So, what next? So, baby, everything has changed, you know, and uh, I guess I've got to tell you a while, you know. Tell you a while? That's right, you heard me. I can't stay here. Gosh, this place sucks. I just can't stay here. Sweetheart, I can hardly breathe. Excuse me, let me tell you something. 
the building we are in is not that. Okay? Yeah, whatever. He said that over and over. And there are so many other properties like that my dad has got. Okay, you don't expect me to just wave everything off to the walls just because you don't like the air around here. Put on your reasoning garment so we can put things together. Okay? Really? That's right. I can see your mind is made. And I expect you to make up your mind too. Rubbish! Oh. You know what? What? I can stay here. Oh. If you want to stay here, you go ahead and stay. Yeah. I am out of here. Honey, you are a Nigerian girl. <laughs> Eh, you can as well take this one. I will give you all the love you're looking for. My love will stay. Never go away. You haven't had any sleep, have you? Nancy, how can I sleep? I can't sleep. I mean, with this amount of money in my care, I have never been in charge of so much money all my life. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I can't sleep then. Do you have any idea with what you want to do with the money? What else? I'm just praying for tomorrow morning to come. So that I'll just carry the money, I'll go to, to, to my bank and I'll, I'll just pay it in. No, 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 no. You can't take the money to the bank with your name. You trace the money. Uh, okay, so we can't keep the money in the hotel room. I'll show you how to make good use of the money. Okay. Come on, Come on. Mm. Oh, you know, yeah. come and cut some suitcase. Eh? <laughs> Coming to bed is one thing, but just for this thing to come is another thing. I just have this too much trouble in my head, you know? Don't worry. Come on, girl. You gotta hold on while I put things right, okay? But honey, you know how we left things behind. Yeah, I know, right? But I tell you what, with my dad's dough, we can settle down here. Hmm? Settle down here? That's right. Come on, Clem. I mean, people are jetting out in drones, and here you are talking about settling down here. Oh no, I can't settle down here. Only those who don't have the wherewithal are jet out. Come on. But if you have a strong and reliable business, my dad, come on, they ain't jetting out. Look, I tell you, it's easy to make real dough over here, man, if you plug into the right channel, man. And I tell you what, baby, this moment, my channel is damn right. Baby, I know. But I just don't like it here. I mean, I don't like Nigeria. I just don't like it. You hear yourself right. You don't like Nigeria. Meanwhile, you're in Niger, babe. But I don't feel safe. Come on. Can we talk of something else, man? It doesn't sound good. That's it. Look at those two. That is Chief Ronan's son. Really, um, I I saw you at the funeral. Which? Your dad's. I see. 
Honey. Oh, um, I never noticed you, honey, did you? No, I can't say I remember. <laughs> not to worry, it's, it's nothing really. I, like, I, I just came over to say hi to you guys because um, my dad used to work for years, you know? Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but he's, dead now. Uh, he died four months before your dad died. And did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. It's a pity. That's pretty absurd. Pretty absurd. Um, was he attacked by the Amrovis as well? Uh, more or less. More or less. It's not. It's nothing. I really like talking about. It was a very horrible experience, but it's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm. I'm also very sorry about your dad's death. I don't know why, no. Um. I hope you guys have fun, okay. madam. Take care of the baby. Yeah. yeah you're welcome. Thank you so much. And how come my dad's account is in the red? That's not possible, sir. Now go get me the manager of Zenith Bank, Broad Street. Get him online. Keep trying that line, okay? Perhaps it's too early to write. Perhaps there's nothing really to write about. But I saw you that day and couldn't resist wishing another sight. My father worked for your father. Mine told me lots of secrets. If there is anything, anything at all that doesn't fall into place, don't hesitate to call me on 080-330-90652. Take care, Cassandra.
he has not called me yet. I am very sure that he will call me. Casey, the man is a married man for goodness sake. The married man should not be married. Come on. You lured your father into his death. I saw how elated you were when the nurse told you the man he had wanted to give her flowers dead. The first one you sent surely killed him. Look, they are not supposed to have an offspring. Can't you understand that? You're serious, aren't you? Every word of it. It's me again, knowing that somehow we need each other. My phone number remains the same. Always expecting that call. Oh, by the way, how is your wife? Regards, Cassandra. something. Tell me. Know what? How the hell am I supposed to know? You blew the whistle so you gotta sing. <laughs> God, you're really taking this whole thing seriously. Yeah, why wouldn't I take it serious? In two days you sent me five damn letters and you just expect me to take it like um, tales by moonlight? Well, first things first. How is your wife? What? What the hell has my wife got to do with it? No, uh, nothing. I mean, I just want to be sure she's not getting the wrong signal. That's it. Ideas. What ideas do you really have in mind? <laughs> Look, trust me. I'm a friend. Anyway, for for a start, we're not we're not married. You are not? But she's pregnant for you, I guess. People could get babies without legally getting married, can they? Forgive me. Forgive me. So tell me, what's the game? Let's just say I could help your company's financial distress. Oh, yes. Sophie went back to the United States yesterday. Maybe we could go back to the house. Perfect. Cheers. Oh, 
something is not just right. Something like what? I mean, my dad paid a 35 million naira to one company, and to think that he paid this money just from one account. Mhm. Mm what is wrong in that? Come on. This company hasn't done anything with my dad before. And when I traced the company down to the sole signatory, I found out the guy was shot alongside two others in his home. Three weeks after my dad was shot. Can you believe that? Are you serious? Yeah. And more. This guy was a drug dude. You don't say. That's right. Hmm. And now the jigsaw puzzle is. Did my dad mix up with drug dudes? Uh huh. Man, that's a big one. Suddenly, your letters start popping up, and I keep asking, "What do you know that I don't?" Um, your dad, my dad. Drug dudes. I mean, what's the connection? So many questions, and I keep wondering. Can you find me some answers? <laughs> answers. Well, the only thing I can say is that. Um, I know your company has some consignment in the wall. How did you know about that? The agents talked and I heard. I know that the consignment has not been paid for, which makes me guess that you are in distress. Oh, hell, I am. I am. I can help you. I mean, I can give you some money to clear up the consignment at least. As a friend. Honey, you don't get it. I'm not talking about thousands here. I mean, I'm talking about 10 million naira for goodness sake. I will give you the money. And I will also spend the money. for a man on the first date. It is her and not the man that is cheap. <laughs> that is so old school. Let me tell you what is so in. Not when the girl has got ulterior motives. And believe me, girl, take it from me. I'm the teacher. You fell for it. Hook. Line, sinker, and rod. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you truly want to go ahead with this? All the way, girlfriend. Especially now that the assumed wife is out of the picture. Assumed. Girlfriend, they were never mind. I have more interesting stories to tell you. Are you going out? Maybe. Uh-huh. And you don't think I should know about it? Uh-huh. This Nigeria is treating you too much. I have to go to you back to the UK. <laughs> or else you tell me what is going down, girl. Mmm. I would really love that. Okay, I'll see you then.
Bye. Come on, for anybody who gave me 10 million without collateral, I was still gonna come. So, is this supposed to be all about the money? No, really, come on. I, I was gonna still come, money on the money. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Wow. <clears throat> now that you're here. Looking so good. Thank you. Oh, Sophie. Sophie, how you doing? Oh, no, you don't have to bother about the money anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I've got enough right now. Yeah. What? The how? Come on, that's not something we'll discuss on the phone right now. Yeah, of course, I'm doing fine. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Me too. Bye. Right. Okay. Way. It's a way, right? Oh. Tell me, what are you still doing in this <laughs> I'm going to take them off, but you, you go them. first. You go, you do that. <laughs> okay. I can help you as well. Okay, you know what, just come back. You? Mm -hmm. You? Okay. I'm going to be so much in a hurry. If you say so. Alright, just relax. I can't wait, baby. I just can't wait. I know. I'm ready for you, baby. <laughs> you can't wait, right? Oh, what are you going to do to me too? Let me first ease your tension. Yeah. You like that? Come on, baby. You were turning me on. I know. <laughs> are you sure you can't handle what you're trying to stop? <laughs> <laughs> set out to seduce. Okay. He's not in love. So what? What do you plan to do? <laughs> Let's see. You just watch me. Okay? I am now the mistress of the game. Um, yeah. Let's not forget. Thanks a million. Over what? Um, this is the 10 million naira you gave to me with our collateral. I just want to say thank you so much for the timely intervention. Wait, did I tell you I wanted it back? What? I just gave it to you. I didn't borrow you. What are you talking about? I just gave you the money because I wanted to help. Come on, Casey. Nobody throws away 10 million just like that. I did not throw away 10 million, okay? I gave it to help a man that I truly love. What would I have done without you? God, I don't know what I would have done without you either. You know I would do anything for you, don't you? I will. Mm-hmm. Ready? It's ready. Whoa. Home, sweet home. Some, 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 some home. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the security of the round Hello. Yes. May I help you? I'd like to see your boss. Name. Cassandra. You? 
me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Miracles do happen, don't they? I don't know if my boss will want to see you. Why don't you call him first? <laughs> I will. Good. Who we've got here. Hi. How are you? Mm. Mm. You look so smashy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. I know. Receptionist? Yes, sir. No visitors until she leaves, okay? Okay, sir. Good. Baby, come on. Signals. What, what signals are you talking about? Signal that um, Sophie might be in real danger. Danger? What sort of danger? Danger of losing me. Really? Yeah, I think so. So is she? That's right. Just, just, just getting that signal. Exactly what I've been thinking all this while. Yes, we should. Let's go out today, you know, try and get an agent to get us an urgent apartment. Now you're talking, girl. Have you thought of any serious business you intend to engage in? A boutique. Boutique? Nice. And I hope to make it really big with your support. Of course, you know you have my support all the time. Thanks. So what about you? Shares. Shares? I intend to invest in bank shares. I could invest with 50 million, buy shares from 10 different banks, and then go home, sleep, and allow my shares to work for me. Not bad. But um, I want to live an active life. With an active life, I was living in London working shifts. I'll go ballistic if I don't practice an active life. And I'm also going back to school. Wow, great idea. Now you've decided to leave Clem alone, right? <laughs> now that is all mine. Hell no. Casey, why don't you think about it and drop it? In case you haven't heard, it's about leaving his fiancée for me. And what do you gain? Everything. I want to drain him of every cobble. Just like I did to his father. You know what? Leave me out of the this time. <laughs> Look at this one. With the Mugu falling head over heels in love with me. Who needs you? You will be needing me, girl. <laughs> Oh, Lydia, my friend. I completely forgot about her. Lydia. Yeah, I told you about her now. My roommate on campus. Oh, yeah. The same girl took you to that quack doctor. Don't even go there. Lydia did what best she could do for a friend in need. Sorry, miss. Didn't mean to step on your toes. Whatever. <sighs> so, that's what I was Mm. This 
some other kind of things like that. Hi. Sophie, what's up? Clint, you know what? I'm surprised at you. I'm really, really surprised at you. Clint, you don't call me. You don't even call me. You don't care. What's going on? Sophie, I'm so busy, please. For God's sake, Clint. I just had a baby girl for you. Sophie, I don't give a damn about your baby, okay? It's, uh, hello? Am I speaking with Clint? I said I don't care if you've got a baby boy or a baby girl. Come on, look. I don't need your baby, okay? Not from you anyway. What? Hello? 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 And let's spend the town red. red. On my bill, I'm taking you out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Harry, Harry, Harry. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'll take the car. All right, that's fine. You have to hurry up. Grab your degree. And join our club. Your club? Mm-hmm. Our club, the Millionaire Girls. The Millionaire Girls? Oh. Exactly. That sounds really tempting and interesting. <laughs> no, on a very serious note. Seriously. Okay, I will. I will. But, um, wouldn't you love to come back to school and have your degree? Of course, I'm coming back. Next session, though. Lydia, yeah. would you help talk Cassandra out of her present deadly scheme? Nancy, stop that. What deadly scheme is she talking about? Why didn't you tell her? It is none of her business. On the contrary, since I almost led you to your early grave once, I think I, I have a right to know everything happening around you. Plus, I'm really waiting for an opportunity to save your life. If you keep out of this one, I'll be just fine. So, would you talk so she's not talking? You try that, and you would have severed our relationship. I was just wondering, now that we live here together, I think it's time to go to the next level. <laughs> next level? Yeah. What do you mean? I've told Sophie to cultivate elsewhere. Really? Yeah. What about the baby? Baby can go to hell. And now. Oh, 
I'll ask you straight up. Would you be my wife? Girlfriend, guess what? What? He just asked me to marry him. <laughs> Girlfriend, take five. They are talking about event unfolding. You truly sure you want to go on with this? Look, I am 80% done. The next thing I'll start doing is shifting his money into my private account. And then I'll watch him die. Slowly. Just like his father. That will be for my father's sake. And then I'll think of what to do to him about my mother. You just ask me, just just ask. Are you sure? Mm. It will be just fine. Trust me. Fine. You say so. Alright. My baby, come on. Here we go. Thank you very much. I'm not done yet. What else? I was just thinking, baby. I don't know. Will it be good we think about our wedding within the next um, three months? Three months? Why not? Oh. Why not? <laughs> Three months is perfect. Is it fine? Perfect. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Mm. Mm. I love you. And I love you too. You've been much more than you do. Mm. You take care. You too, baby. I will call you. Yeah. And I'll be waiting. And then. Uh...
sell out to ruin me? Just like I did to your father. Yes. Oh boy. This is indeed sounding like a real movie to me. You can verify it. No, I'm not doubting you. I'm not. It's just that I'm baffled. I'm baffled that my dad did all he did. I never really knew him to be that bad. Well, I just told you everything that happened to me. Your dad was at the thick of it all. you are not like your father. You are kind, humane, and I know you truly love me. Above all, I also fell in love with you. More like love and Kazo. You can say that again. What are you going to do with me now? What I'm going to do with you? Yeah, um, I mean, are you going to get me arrested or are you going to let me just go away and never return? First time in my life, I met genuine love, and I'm still gonna marry you. Yeah. Um. What about Sophie? Sophie and I were always fighting. When I met you, I knew I was not really in love. Well, Sophia and I, we're not really in love. That's why I proposed. It's of no use. I... I'm of no use to you. I mean, I... I, I can't give you any child. You told me that before. I'm aware of that. You don't have to mind about that. You don't, you don't have to mind, okay? Now, let's see what we will do. We'll adopt two children and train them to adapt to a gene. Are you, are you saying? Yeah, what I'm saying is that I'm going to right all the wrongs that my dad did to you. Come on, if my dad could put you through all of the, all of the misery, including making you go barren, come on. I'm prepared to inherit you, okay? I'm prepared to inherit you, and that is if you truly wish to spend all your life with me. And now I ask you, do you truly wish to spend all your life with me? Ring the wedding bells, yeah? Look, look, I'm so excited, so so happy. Look, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the father and the mother you don't have again. Again. 
I will make it 